What I hear today. Uh, let's start where we were. Uh, first, could you just say and spell your name for us? Sure, it's Roberta Hosky, R O B E R T A H O S K I E. I understand you have a, a real estate uh, business in town here? What, yes, the name of my company is Outreach Realty Services, Outreach School of Real Estate, and RH Development Partners. So, Wednesday, were you around here? Where do you think you dropped the check? I, well, I had to drop it in between leaving my car and going to my office. Um, and we were right there on Chapel Street over by the Starbucks, where mm -hmm. it must have um, been. Mm -hmm. Did you realize it was gone, or was it not until they called you? <laughs> no, actually, I, I knew I had the check with me. I didn't realize it was gone until he um, called me. I was on my way to go and look for it because I actually thought that I left it in my car. So I thought it was in my car. I didn't know that I really lost it. 10 grand on that check? A little over 10 grand. <laughs> <laughs> so, pretty hefty. Yes. When, you, when you got that call in the office, just what's your initial reaction that someone picked it up and wanted to get it back to you? It was, it was really amazing. What, what ended up um, happening is that I was on my way to go to the car to see if I can find it. And one of my uh, administrative assistants went banging on the wall window and was like, you got to come here. And so I got back to this. There's a guy out here saying that he has your check. And I was like, oh my gosh, what a good Samaritan. But my heart um, it really broke and it really caught my attention when I met Mr. Alvarez to find out he was homeless. And so it's it, there's a lot of good Samaritans, but then there's some like extraordinary good Samaritans and that's what Mr. Alvarez is. Well, wow. yeah. so he was with his friend who was helping translate Hector. Well, was, uh, here's the story. Yeah. <laughs> he, Hector really, he had to find Hector to translate. So he wasn't with him. He came outside and was looking for someone who could habla espanol to translate um, for him to, to call and to find out who we were so that he could return the check. Wow. So this guy is phenomenal. You went and paid it for it, I saw in the video oh, at absolutely. the end. You best believe it. So you rewrote him another check. That, I wrote him a very nice check that brought him to tears. Wow. And what did that mean to be able to give it back to him to pay it forward in that moment? It felt, it felt very good to do it once. What he said to me um, that stood out, I said, why, I said, why did you do this? Why did you give me this check back? Because there's so many people who would have never given me this check. Yeah. And he said that he believed in God and God told him. Wow. And so little things like that. And so because of that, I felt like I had to be a blessing to him. And I said you've yeah. offered him some help maybe to come to your real estate school as well. Is yes. That yeah, so I offered him, um, I gave him a nice check, and I also offered him a full ride to go to my real estate school. I'm also connecting him with resources so that we can get him off of the street and get him gainfully employed as well as housing for him. This must be especially emotional for you because I a little bit read about your background. Mm -hmm. You kind of walked in his shoes in the past? Tell yes, us about that. Yes. so I'll never forget, and this is why I'm passionate mother, teenage mother, 17 when I was pregnant, found myself on welfare, uh, $417 a month, and also was considered homeless living in um, teenage shelter. So I know what it's like to be homeless and be at what you call their wits in and where people give up on you. And when you're in a situation where you feel that people give up on you, that you're homeless, and you have no family, you have no friends and no one to depend on. It's a hopeless situation. Well, it seems to be hopeless, but there is hope for the hopeless and I'm a face of it. And so because of that, I am passionate about, I'll never forget where I come from. And because of that, like when I'm looking at Alvarez and in the Facebook live feed, you'll see where I'm saying, honey, this is temporary. This is temporary. And I mean that because if you can see past your situations, you can get out of them. Wow. And so that has been my motto. I've always seen past the situation. So I've always gotten out of them. Wow. And how old are you enough to want me asking your... I'm not telling you. Okay. Tell okay. Me. Okay. But, but you... <laughs> I don't care if it is NBC. But, but, <laughs> but again, in the last, you've been able to get... I'm very start, young. Start, start, start your own business. You're, you're doing successful now. Yes. And um, I, I just... just to, Why do you want to go on Facebook Live to share all this to begin with? As it's... You, didn't, you never met the guy. You know how it's going to unfold. But you're, you're, you're sharing it live as it's happening. I mean, it's... Because... Because people need to know that there's good people. And if you look at my Facebook Live, the first thing I said is, there's a lot of good people out here. Because people need to hear that all we hear is negativity, especially on the news who's getting shot, who got murdered, and all the things that about homeless people. And it just all of this negativity plagued this community and plagued
plagues the airways. And so we have freedom on Facebook Live. And, and so I was able to do that to show something a little bit different. Well, thank you so much. Um, I'm actually going to put the mic down. We have a few more viewers here on our station. Uh, okay. Just join us. Can you introduce yourself again to our new live viewers here? Sure. Hi, everyone. My name is Roberta Hosky. I'm the president of Outreach Realty Services, Outreach School of Real Estate, and RH Development. Can you call the office to see where he is? So, my life is so freaking crazy, but there are still very, very good people in this world. I didn't even know I'm walking, and um, I had a lot of things in my hand. And when I, I thought I left, you know, the check in my car, I just got a call in the office from a good Samaritan that's like, listen, there's this check that I found outside and called me, called the office. I don't even know, I'm literally outside trying to find the guy with a New York hoodie on. A New York hoodie on. And where? Are you Elmer? Elmer? Yeah, You're Elmer? You're the one that called? No, no, I called. You called, oh my gosh. Thank you so much. You, uh, you, it was good enough, thank you so much here. That will have never given me this call about this check. What made you do that? What made it's, me do that? It's just reality. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. He believes in above. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's not his way of in action just because what he has doesn't mean that he's a bad person. Exactly. It's just measurements then quite met up with him yeah. financially. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay, but he's a good person and that he talked good. to me and I said that's the right thing. Yes. You know? Yes. I appreciate that. No I, I, you know, um, Janelle, you have a, a camera. I want to take a picture with them. I, cause the, I, you know what? That means a lot, and I believe in God too. I would just thank God. You know, this had to be you, because uh, of all the people around here that would have done something just totally different. You guys decided to, to call. You know. Always. That's I'm always. Years old. I'm not a kid. I'm 43 years old. You know what awesome. I'm Please, if you guys have resources, um, yes, if you have resources that I could connect this young guy, this guy to, please, please send him to me right now. Send him in his live feed. Brenda, how do you have connections at the male empowerment group? Who's the connect there? I can make personal phone calls. What do we do? Okay, supplies on it. New Haven has family alliance. Isn't that um, um, Barbara Tinney? Uh, we're about to go and bless this guy. He does, as you heard, for those who are on the live feed, the guy doesn't even speak English. He found someone on the street that can translate for him to give me a call because yeah. he found this gentleman. What, what, what that meant when you said you did the right, did the right thing? Like, I don't, I don't even know who you are, but I thank God for you. And I don't care what your situation is, God has his hand all over your life. And whatever you're going through, it's temporary. You continue to do the right thing.
I'm gonna teach you how to fish.